We love everything about bees here at JBB, and so this just seemed like a really natural fit for us. The Pollinator Project has two main components. We have, um, in the fall, study of monarch butterflies and the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. And then in the spring, we do work with the honey beehives that we have here at JBB. Both sides of the project integrate reading and writing skills, build vocabulary, and then connect to science and data collection and math. I love caterpillars. So we were looking for ways to bring this project to all of our kids, that everybody would have a chance to do something um, on both sides of the product with the butterflies and with the bees. Um, it certainly has built community across our building. We have children who have created infographs about how to care for the caterpillars that they have right now. And so they've been able to touch every classroom um, and every child has had the opportunity to participate and to do something. And so for us, we think that's incredibly important. The kids can see the bees and they can see, see them working and see them in action. I'm excited to see how excited the kids are and I expected that to a degree but I didn't I didn't expect it as much as they are excited. This has been a project that's grown piece by piece over the last couple of years and what we've been really excited about is that it touches every part of our curriculum at every grade level and so we've really um, worked with our teachers to identify opportunities to make those connections. Um, we have students right now who are raising the caterpillars, but they're observing them, they're drawing them, and they're writing about them. Um, again, we have students who are collecting data on the size of their caterpillars and how much they eat and whether the butterflies are male or female. So there are just opportunities for teachers to make meaningful, real world and hands-on connections with the curriculum that they're teaching. The art component is new this year. We're super excited. We have partnered with an organization that does a mock migration. And so our art teacher is teaching a lesson about symmetry to all of our students. The children are creating butterflies that they will send to Mexico as a symbolic migration. When the butterflies arrive at schools in Mexico, they will hang out there over the winter and then they will be sent back to schools that have participated um, in the United States in the spring. And so we will get other butterflies back to us this spring. And so we're excited to be able to make that connection, both symbolizing that migration and also them with the people who will be receiving our butterflies. They like look so cool when they're caliper and they even look cooler when they're a um, when they're a butterfly and they have to travel all the way from here to Mexico. We want our students to be aware of the environment where they live and that we all contribute to a healthy ecosystem.